Okay, we're just back from a little vacation down in Florida, uh, visiting uh, family. I uh, was gone for about 10 days or so. Uh, so, uh, come back to find that uh, a coworker of mine sent me a little project. And uh, one of my hobbies, one of the things I really like to do is mountain biking. And I, I uh, got into this again with my buddy Grant, who is a ex-coworker, retired. Um, very happy for him. But he sent me uh, some Origin 8 bars and a Thompson stem. And basically, uh, what he did was that hole right there, that screw, uh, got stripped out. So, what we need to do is uh, kind of loosen the others, uh, spin this thing around so he can access it, uh, put it in a vise, and drill the head of that guy out, get that, uh, get that guy removed. I don't know if these screws are uh, are titanium. I'm not sure. Um, probably going to let Grant source some killer titanium screws for this. He is a, a bit of a weight weenie, uh, which is which is cool. Um, there we go. Rotate that down. We'll get a vise in the mill and. Uh, Get that guy drilled out of there. Go ahead and uh, sweep, sweep this guy. Make sure he's square. Quite close, actually. All right, so I decided to use a 3 16 ball is kind of what we got. A little four fluter. I think that'll do good work, what we're trying to do here. All right. We'll get this down. table over and I'm just eyeballing the top of the screw here within 10th hour or so it should be good that should be all right right there now uh, we'll spin this guy up uh, pretty high and uh, See, uh, see if I can chew away what's left there. All right, I'm maybe uh, 2200 RPM. I'm going to use air to keep the chips out of the tool. And uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I think uh, alignment-wise, I think we're okay.
Okay, there you can see just pops the head right off when you're uh, pretty close. That'll be real hot. Anyway, now this uh, cap should come off. And what we're left with is uh, trying to get that out of there. There we go. All right. Now we'll probably throw some vice grips on that and see if we can spin that guy out. Uh, if required, maybe a little heat, uh, back and forth, a little penetrating fluid. We'll see. All right, we got some uh, some small vice grips. Uh, go ahead and see if I can get that thing off of there. Get that out of there. I think this is titanium, just by the feel of it. I could be wrong, but now we'll put these guys on here. Oh yeah, this don't don't even need vice grips. Comes right out. So that wasn't the issue, it was just uh, a worn out head on that, uh, on that button. Alright, I've decided that, uh, you know, I'm going to figure out uh, what thread this is. And uh, basically I've got, a, I've got a handy little set of, of little testers. They have a male thread on one side, female on the other. And uh, you can kind of hold it up and check uh, thread. It, pitch and uh, metric it looks like yeah this is uh, M5 by 0.8 alright I got my M5 tap and uh, just gonna chase these holes for Grant to make sure that uh, they're they're clear and proper over the years you can get Some little issues going on, so <laughs> that looks pretty good. Don't even need a tap handle. Just gonna run this guy in. Nearly to the bottom is good enough. Just go through and make sure all the holes are good. Looks like it's taking a little bit of dust off, but that's mostly some anodizing. Very, very tight. It's just shaving off half a layer of anodizing. And this one we've already done. That's good. Okay. So there was no issues with any sort of threads. <laughs> so we'll call that good. Little inspection. Looks good. Now, uh, now all he needs to do is source some fresh titanium bolts. Uh, these guys are, and we'll hold it this, this way. These guys are. Uh, measures 17.6 millimeters hmm long so you know whatever he ends up with there I'm sure a little longer would be okay if he could get 18s or even 20s would probably work but like I said these measure 17.6 let's make sure everything's clean here Check it again. 17.75. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, thread, thread is uh, 5 millimeter, uh, 0.8 pitch, and uh, 17 and 3 quarter millimeters long. Okay, on, uh, on this side, I took, uh, I took the two bolts out and chase those threads as well just to make sure everything was was really nice and I did take one of these bolts and I held it up to a magnet and they're steel 
Uh, so I can probably uh, supply Grant with a bolt and uh, just to get him by. But I think, uh, I don't know, I think he's probably going to want to source some, some tie bolts. Could be wrong, but uh, I'll give him an extra bolt anyway. Okay, I sourced, uh, I sourced another steel black oxide coated bolt for him. And you can kind of see, these are kind of like a button head. Uh, the original ones are button head and they take, they take a three millimeter wrench. That fits in there nicely. Now a three millimeter in a standard five millimeter bolt, that, that is not the fit. That's a four millimeter. So it takes a much bigger, uh, much bigger Allen key, and uh, and thus it will take a lot more torque. And we do like to snug these things down so our bars don't move around on us. So I would recommend a standard socketed cap screw and titanium, if if so desired, uh, to replace this guy. 18 millimeters long, uh, five millimeter by 0.8 thread pitch. Well, there you go. That's how we drill a steel bolt out of an aluminum part, uh, save the part, and uh, have this uh, mountain bike stem go on to live another day. Uh, we'll get this guy uh, boxed up and shipped back to Grant in Las Vegas. And uh, stay tuned, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, more content to come.